every time we uh, train someone that it increases the network of support for people in our community who have um, mental health disorders. At one of our um, first trainees let us know uh, um, recently that she used what she learned in mental health first aid and actually used her um, her manual and worked with her daughter to um, save the life of one of her daughter's friends. He was in a room crying Sunday night and um, came out to me and said that she was on Facebook and the little boy that she knows was having a problem and she wanted me to come into the room and tell her what she should do. So I went in and was reading the message and the little boy had written her a note on Facebook telling her that he wanted to thank her for her friendship and thank her for being there to listen to him and to help him out and that he was tired of his life and didn't want to live any longer. And so I said to her, well, we need to ask him a few questions. Is he um, planning on ending his life? Now it's okay for you to ask him this question, I told her, because if you ask him that, you won't be putting the idea into his head. That if he already has this in his head, that he could do it. And so she did. She typed to him and she asked him if he planned on ending his life, and his reply was yes. And I said, now the next thing to type is ask him if he has a plan, if he's willing to share the plan with us. And he said when his parents went to bed, he was going to hang himself. And so I asked her to ask him if he had any other attempts he had made on his life in the past. And she did, and he replied yes. And so I said to her, now, from here, we need to figure out what to do. You can call, if you're unsure whether to call 911, call contact and ask them what they think you should do. And, um, or offer him the contact phone number. So she offered him the number, and he said he didn't want to talk to anybody. So I said, would he be willing to talk to you, at least if you have him on the phone, him on the phone? We know he's okay. And his reply was, he didn't want to talk to her. His hands were full of blood. And I said, ask him why his hands are full of blood. And his reply was, he was pulling his hair out of his head because he was feeling a lot of stress. And so I said to her, now I need to ask you a question. How do you feel if he doesn't want to be your friend anymore tomorrow? Tomorrow he doesn't like you. And she said to me, it's more important that he's alive and I'll be okay if he feels that way. And so I said to her, you need to call 911 or you can call a non-emergency phone number that we have for the police department. Feel comfortable telling the story to them and talking to them and they can make the decision for you. So she called the police department and when she got off the phone with them, she came down and told me they were coming to the house. So when they came to the door, they asked her what had happened and she told him the whole story again. The police officer called him on the cell phone. He did answer his cell phone. The police officer told him that he was going to come over and speak with him. And then he told Destiny that he was going to um, take him to CPAP and have him evaluated. That she did a really good thing, that it was very helpful, not to doubt what she did and she helped to save this little boy's life. And the little boy was very upset. He wrote to her when the police left and said some nasty words to her. But when he did get out of CPAP, he did write to her and let her know that he thanked her for saving his life, that she helped him. That's good for parents to take the training because we do come across a lot of issues at home and don't really know how to help children. And this made it very helpful for me to be able to help her. I've used this book for many situations at home because a lot of her friends do like to tell and talk to her. So we've gotten this book out at 2 o'clock in the morning for certain little crises that they have. She reads through it, I read through it, and it helps a lot. And that's it. I mean, she, she helped him because of the mental health first aid training. I would have never been able to guide her to, to just take the steps that she had to to get the information that she needed to help him. We're a great team.